All right, so in this video, I have three to the power of x plus three to the power of two x is equal to three to the power of three x. So what I'm gonna first gonna do is subtract three to the power of x and three to the power of two x on both sides. So now I get three to the power of three x minus three to the power of two x minus three to the power of x is equal to zero. Now, I'm gonna rewrite three to the power of three x as three to the power of two x plus x, and I'm gonna rewrite three to the power of two x as three to the power of x plus x, and I have three to the power of x at the end. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 3 to the power of 2x plus x is going to equal 3 to the power of 2x times 3 to the power of x. And 3 to the power of x plus x is equal to 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of x and I have minus three to the power of x is equal to zero. And now all of my terms here have three to the power of x in them. So I can factor out three to the power of x. So now I get three to the power of x times three to the power of two x minus three to the power of x minus one is equal to zero. Now this gives me two equations. I get three to the power of x is equal to zero, and three to the power of two x minus three to the power of x minus one is equal to zero. So for three to the power of x equals zero, I'm gonna take the log on both sides, so I get log three to the power of x is equal to log zero. And log zero is undefined, so there is no solution to this equation. And also, you can't take the power of a number and make it equal zero, so there's no solution. So now all that we're left with is three to the power of two x minus three to the power of x minus one equals zero. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of n. So three to the power of two x, I can rewrite that as three to the power of x to the power of two and I have this minus three to the power of x minus one is equal to zero. Now from here, I'm going to let u equal three to the power of x. So if I substitute in u for three to the power of x, I get u squared minus u minus one is equal to zero. And now to solve this, I can use the quadratic formula which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is negative 1. So I get u is equal to negative of negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 1 all over two times one. Now this is equal to one plus or minus the square root of one plus four over two, which is equal to one plus or minus the square root of five over two. So now I have u equals one plus or minus the square root of five over two. And remember how u is also equal to three to the power of x meaning three to the power of x is equal to one plus or minus the square root of five over two. Now I'm gonna take the log on both sides. So I get log three to the power of x is equal to log of one plus or minus the square root of five over two. So now this gives me two equations. I have log three to the power of x is equal to log of one plus the square root of five over two and log 
3 to the power of x is equal to log of 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. So we can already cancel this out because 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2 is a negative number, and you can't take the power of a positive number and make it equal a negative number. So there's no solution to that. So I'm left with log 3 to the power of x is equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Log 3 to the power of x is the same thing as x times log 3 because I can move the x to the front. So I get x times log 3 is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And now if I divide both sides by log 3, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 over log 3.